Hey guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. This is gonna be weekend energy. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, possibly Monday. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Okay, gonna get your overall lesson. And then I'm gonna read separately. Here's the thing I wanted to bang this all out, okay, in one video, but for some reason it needs segments. I don't know what that means, okay? So they're separate this weekend. I. I beyond me okay so Aquarius Libra Gemini so this is a lesson for air for the weekend weekend energy weekend energy I got what you need that came out in Taurus I don't know who sings that and I gotta get it on see I got what you need is that the song that I originally sang and I called a friend and she's like babe that's not enough I got what you need. Oh, shit. I wonder. I wonder. I don't know. See if you're wondering. I got what you need. I don't think that was the same song. That makes me feel a little better. So you got trust. I accept my inner voice will always guide me correctly. So trust something. Trust something. Trust your gut, man. Trust your gut. All right, we're going to start with Aquarius. Aquarius. I got what you need. No. Sorry, I just got a snap, Snapchat from somebody and I'm like, no. See, I don't, see, I don't know if someone's going to hit you up. I'm like, no. <laughs> no. All right, so that was odd. Oh, Jesus. So you might have somebody reaching out to you. Maybe you want to hear from them. Maybe you don't. Maybe it's exhausting. Um, trust your gut. And look at the first thing I said was like, no. It's almost like a, I know if I open that. It's like, ugh. Anywho. Anywho, see, there's a message for you. Maybe that's why I'm doing segments. There's got probably a message for everybody. So Aquarius. <clears throat> It's funny, I'm starting at 240. I started at Taurus with 242. Alright. Um, Aquarius, please. Aquarius, weekend energy. Aquarius, Aquarius, weekend energy. I almost, that reminds me of like, um, see, it's going to keep doing this until I figure it out. Weekend energy. It's like a PBS cartoon. Um... I don't know. I got what you need. Really? Okay, Aquarius. Spirit's trying to tell me something. Maybe you need solitude. Maybe you need quietness. Maybe you need a pause. I don't know. Aquarius, please. Regret. Answers no metamorphosis. See, so funny. I'm like, no. See, there's a message for everybody here. My energy just got calm too. So somebody's really like, someone needs to transform their emotions, their feelings. Like, I, see, some is. I don't know what to say. Um, to me, you've been in a situation for too long, dwelling on something, being sad about something. Some are sad, some are dwelling. Don't take it personally. This is energy where it's like, you know better though. This has been, you're holding on to it. This is like transmuting energy, even though it's a metamorphosis. So I, I think someone's just like, shit, I don't know if you might reject somebody over the weekend or you're like, no. And the other person, because I don't think that's you. 
And the other person's like, shit. Now I got a man up. Or woman up. I just see a man. Okay. Someone needs to feel like it's safe. And I don't know how on earth you would feel like it's safe in that energy. Yeah, see? You have to be focused. Self-worth. And it's funny. Again, I got real quiet. You might just need quiet time. Yeah, see, your, your energy, it's like you're not ready for something or it's whoever you're dealing with. That's that's telling me you're not ready for something. That's not like you need to vibe higher. Like, I would say yes, but this vibration came out with Taurus and it was a completely different meaning. So I don't know if there's like an energy vampire here, or someone who just, you know, sucks the fucking life out of you. Because tell me about vibration. Because that, to me, is it's not vibing. Okay, well, that's the opposite. But this is, it's still a given. You have to vibe higher. So somebody's probably kicking themselves in the ass. Because it's like you have an awesome sauce energy that's saying no. And it's, it's your own shit. Like, now don't take this personally, okay? But if that was not my best friend and it was just somebody who was playing freaking games, I'd be like sitting your own shit too. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like it's like that. It's like this is your own doing. I know it is because spirit's saying you got to refocus. This is an energy that knows better. So this is like somebody who has awesome sauce energy. That's kind of saying no to a situation. No, nothing's changed. There's no way. And this isn't like little change. This is major change. Major. Something major has to shift in your life. Because you got somebody that you admire. And see? The wheel reversed. It's, it's no. There's, there was too many games, patterns. Something was happening where it was like, nope. Is there mutual love? Apparently, yes, hands down, but no. So you're, you're not dealing with a fool. You're not dealing with somebody who's going to cater to you. And I think that's a good thing. Because you have to get this out of your head. Like, you have to shift your focus. Now, take this as it is. This could be someone you're dealing with, or this is, you know, yada, yada. But this energy right here, that this energy admires, no. Stop in the pattern, nope clean up your own shit type energy so maybe it sends somebody into metamorphosis see here's the thing it's like just watching observing not doing anything staying in icky energy it's not good it is it's not good this person's just watching they're not growing they're not shifting their energy they're not refocusing they do feel bad but that's still not getting you anywhere. Right back to probably where you started. Yeah, see, this, this energy wants a second chance. But see, the communication shut off. And my glasses just fell. And I can barely see without them. See, so someone's still in a fog. I don't even know how my nails caught my glasses there. So somebody wants a second chance, but is either not communicating, right? Holding on. Just hold on to the past. Hold on to pain. This is, you held on for too long to a situation, okay? It's clear as day. Held on for too long regarding something. And this person's no fool. So it, apparently it is a loss. Okay? Um, could just be a temporary loss, guys. This is weekend energy, okay? But it is somebody who wants a second chance, but is not communicating. They're just watching. So it's almost like there is no communication in a way. This is somebody who's just 
in their feelings. They know they can't have it right now. There's a lesson here. That's the comic wheel. Someone didn't learn a lesson. And I want to tell you, you might want to go check out Taurus Virgo Capricorn. That was the same thing. It was that vibration. And it actually was something about a lesson. I can't tell you which one it was. But it's, it's over in that category. It's over in that grouping with Earth. So I don't know if you're dealing with Earth. Okay, so moving forward. Um... So some of you are dealing with this and others of you, you are in it. You have to shift. You have to refocus. And others of you are just vibing at a whole nother level and you're just, you're not having a situation, you know. Um, so please hang in there. Take care of yourself. Uh, your best advice is, is really re refocus. You know, you're dwelling on something that is holding you back. So please, please, please stop. Or maybe it's, you know, you didn't learn a lesson and it's, it's out of our control. You know, it's out of my control. It's out of someone else's control. It's, it's in your hands, you know. Sometimes it just, it is what it is. So let's move on to Libra. Weekend energy, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Time to recoup. Definitely time to recoup. Someone's thinking, contemplating. That's not recouping, though. You do have two turned backs. So you, your back could be turned towards somebody right now. But I, I think it's necessary so somebody can contemplate something. And to me, you're just kind of possibly working on yourself. It is calming energy. You are healing. I feel like it's... A different type of healing though like mm, I feel like you're vibing higher there I feel like you're in a situation where it's like better off for some reason and somebody else is like oh shit you could be taking photos if you take photos this weekend, they'll probably come out beautifully. Let's see, there's a lesson. If, if you ask me, it's, it's like not picking up on something. It's almost like a lesson here is literally to take a break. Notice how it's all quiet, it's water, it's beach, it's a book, it's clouds, it's a moon, it's mind, body, and soul. So somebody knows, especially with awakening, you have an energy here that knows either somebody's in a lesson, you're in a lesson, you know you need a break, because to me this is other energy. Your back's turned towards someone, something, and they're the ones that are contemplating. But to me, it's like you almost know there's an energy that's in a lesson. Like they need to heal. You could have got a message from a spirit guide, a dream. Trust your gut. Yeah, see this energy that's contemplating wants a fresh start. Going within. Someone just got out of a shit storm. So this this is good. It's almost like the two of you are taking a break, or it's just one person that is actually learning and is just gonna have a nice quiet weekend and is trying to figure out 
whether or not maybe they can trust their gut and move in a new direction. You know what I mean, jelly beans? It is nice, quiet energy. I think water or earth, dirt, soil would be good for you. A nice hike, sitting near the water. I honestly feel like some of you taking pictures this weekend, you might even see something in a picture. Or just being nice and calm, spending time to yourself is, is like refreshing because you have a new start. So this is necessary. And I'm telling you, I feel like this is going to, you know, when I was like Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, like this might be like for a solid week that you might just need to like, I wanted to use the word hover. So that's, I don't know if you guys, are, why is a UFO coming to me? You might see something strange in the sky. I don't know if it'd be a UFO, but. And now I'm looking at that like, looks like an alien hand. I'll never look at this card the same. I don't want you to bump into an alien. That galact I, I mean, I love, I don't mind galactic energy. Look at it, it's like galactic there. But like, you bumping into aliens, you're, that's like a whole nother, like if, if aliens are messing with you or it's an alien thing, like that's, that has to do with the past life. That's a harsh lesson. Like that's not even linked to spirituality. Like if, you know, it's, it's, it's not, I have my own belief on that, you know? Um, so I don't know. I'm hoping you'll see something different in the sky, but I saw hovering. Could just have a bee hovering around you. Could be very simple. I don't I don't think so. You're gonna see something in the sky. That is a wicked strong message. Like wicked strong. You're meant to see it. Whatever it is will shift you. And I know that can be scary, and some of you are like, alright, I'm not fucking looking in the sky. Oh Jesus. Sorry, Spirit. Jesus. Sorry, God, Spirit. Jesus, stop it, Courtney. You're going to see something. Mm, fuck. I don't mean to scare any of you. I don't, I don't think it's a, a good... Oh, Jesus, okay. I think maybe if you take a photo, you might catch like a demonic energy. Nothing to be scared about. It, you, like a creature, like something you'd be like, what the fuck is that? I've caught stuff like that plenty of times. I mean, it could even be like a sea creature that lives in the dark, deep sea that, you know, when it comes to shore and you're like, oh my God, like the shit you see in Nemo. So, you know, I don't think it's like that. It's something in the sky, guys. It's like a meant to be thing, though. Not meant to be like that, but like if you see it, you see it. Mm. Uh. <sighs> That's, that's tough. That, I, I, oh, Jesus. Because this is nice energy. It's calming. There's a lesson here. It's a fresh start. It's awesome. But then there's whatever this is going on in the sky. I don't know. Whoever sees something, I... It, It's like it's going to push you in a new direction, and at first it might be really tough. Oh, Jesus, I don't know what to say here. I, I don't think it's a bad thing. Like, if you're just seeing, like, 
an airplane or like uh like if it's so nonchalant guys don't worry about it i'm talking like a strange something like ufo no not even like yeah maybe if that's the if that's the case I don't know if it's a bad thing, but like, it's going to affect your energy. So if you see something strange, just, you know, make sure you cleanse, take a bath, you know, stick your feet in the dirt. I, I, I definitely wouldn't panic. Okay. I think it's just more make sure you freaking cleanse. Like even, I would even use like a body scrub, but do not panic. I promise you. Others of you, shooting star, butterflies, like, that's great. You know what I'm saying? But I'm talking, if you're seeing something hovering, just make sure you cleanse yourself. Especially if you're like, oh my God, that's so cool. Like, I would not suggest taking a picture. And I know people are like, oh my God, you want to take a picture of that. I would not suggest taking a picture of that. I'm not going to lie to you. Let somebody else capture it. How would you not? I would want to bust out my phone too. But it might actually bust your phone. Because to me, it's, it's not an experience you want to see. And I hate to say it. That's just the total vibe I'm picking up on it is if, if I, I don't even know if it's like necessarily meant for you. It, it's just somebody around you or you know what I'm saying? Not necessarily like who you're with, but like all I'm saying, if you see something strange like that, just cleanse yourself. I promise you do not panic. Promise, promise, promise. Okay. Others of you, this is a lesson. You should be, you know, contemplating, you know, you should be, well, you should be more or less like not contemplating and just having a new start. Okay. It's, don't sit at the top of a mountain. I know it's relaxing and it's peaceful and you're working your way through your issues and problems and certain stuff. And that that's good. But like, don't, don't dwell either. You know what I'm saying? Like, just have a fresh start. Trust your gut. Your gut's already probably telling you anyway. You know, so don't not listen to your gut, please. So let's clear this, okay? Because I don't want anyone to, like, panic, and that message is not for everybody. That's why I'm saying, like, basically, you know, just don't even think about that. You know what I mean? Like... I know what's going to happen with somebody. So, and even if it's a strong message for me, you, I'm just going to cleanse myself. You're fine. You're, you're good. You're kosher. It's not for you. Okay? Because you're having a fresh start. It's, it's almost like you're not meant to see it. Does that make sense? So just cleanse yourself. Stick your feet in the dirt. You got dirt here. You got water here. You know, if you see something, just, you know, cleanse yourself. To me, you're doing the right thing by stepping away from a situation at this point. It's, it's like a lesson to step away. Okay. I don't know what that's forgotten. You're in the healing process, so trust your gut. You would know. Um, yeah, see, holy shit and balls. And then again, the, see the hermit. Like I said, it, it's almost like... <sighs> Someone's life is is going to crash down this weekend because you're not learning a lesson. You have to go within. You have to contemplate in order to get out of this funk, this mode. So a mountain hike might be really good, okay? And then it's like, look, a fresh start. So I'm I'm telling you, like it's again, it might be something you don't want to see. Like um, see what I'm saying? It's like something out of the sky. 
And I don't necessarily think it was meant for you to see. Because uh, we're back to the sky, okay? Back to the sky. Meteorite, comets, like, I don't, it's not just a lightning strike unless you're seeing, like, even if you were to see a lightning strike hit a building and nobody got hurt, you still want to clear your energy because you were on that ground that it hit. It was meant to hit something. It's meant for somebody else. So do not panic. You know what's funny? Last weekend I did weekend energy. I said, go watch Libra. Now look at again, Libra. How crazy is that? It's a, it's a really, really important message here. Whatever you see, it's it's almost like it's not meant for you. Please, please, please cleanse yourself. Whether it's a bath, sticking your feet in the ocean. I'm not saying you got to get nutty and sage. A body scrub might be really good. But it's like you've been through a battle. This is, again, it's, it's kind of you're not learning a lesson. So spirit is going to interfere with some of you on a more mundane, mundane level. That solitude, they can't say that enough. Trust your gut. Even if somebody wants to go out party or you haven't seen this person in a while, or I promise I want to have a conversation. Like, no. 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 That That's it. No. Unless you know your gut's telling you yes. Okay, but how's your gut telling you yes when you're still in solitude? See what I'm saying? So I don't know if it'd be like a false start. False start. Jeez, guys. You guys, you're, there's got to be something with your zodiac hitting certain planets. So please, you know, cleanse, take a, sh even if you no know, bath and you take a shower. Especially, like, I'm telling you, even if you see a lightning strike, you're not meant to see it. It can fuck up your energy. And that's it. There's nothing else to really be scared about, okay? Even if you see a comet, and you're like, oh my god, that's fucking awesome. Still cleanse yourself. That would be a message for people more in the UK. With the eclipses coming in and certain, like the the visuals are bigger in the UK right now than they are in the United States or any other country. So, and this came out reverse and I set it upright. So it's almost like a stubborn, stubborn energy, but I want to keep it upright. I got what you need. See that flipped. Miss the sun. It's like you're not seeing something. You're not waking up. I can't stress this enough. See, some of you is just you're not picking up on something. You're just you're not. So if this is if you're cross watching or someone you're dealing with, like just stop. Like whatever you're doing, stop. This three major arcana. Stop. And this actually flips coming out. is So I know for a damn fact they didn't want it up right. I watched it spin. <sighs> Moving on. I'm not, I'm telling you, if you're a cross watcher, please. And if you're not a cross watcher, I'm talking like this message is like for everybody because once again, I'm going to have to make a video to go watch Libra. It's the Libra within everybody's chart and I want everybody to get that message that it, even if it's a lightning strike or I'm, I'm telling, not like a shooting star, that's different. Something with electricity, something hovering, a UFO, if you believe in them, electricity, lightning strike, electricity. And I'm not talking like, oh, I saw some lightning bugs. No. I 
I can't stress that enough. All right, moving on. All right, Gemini, Gemini, ooh, ooh, ooh. Gemini, Gemini, ooh, ooh, ooh. 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, Gemini. There's something with the moon with you guys too. The sky, moon, moon. Um, well, that's more like the sun rising. No, it could be the sun going down. But um, I can't even remember what Aquarius had. And it's funny because remember I said last week it, the start goes into Gemini. What the actual fuck is happening? It's got to be the transits right now. It's funny because my mom like, if you see little butterflies hovering, you know, not a big deal. It's probably a good sign. But you'd have to be in a fairy tale to see that image, right? Um, I don't have heartburn, but I have like a sharp pain under my left breast closer to like the middle of my rib cage, like right to the right of my heart. Sharp, sharp pain. And I don't think your heart chakra is opening. So I don't, I literally have to breathe through this for a minute. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that's trying to tell me. But again, it's the same message. You need to devote time to yourself. Maybe you should light candles. Ugh. I mean, you can always light candles. I don't think that's that's not a message. Um, talk to spirit. Uh, just make sure this weekend's about you. See, this is more positive. You're being guided. But you're still being guided to go within, guys. Yeah, you're waking up to something. See, I think some of you, this is like the opposite. It's like if you actually see something in the sky, it's positive. That's really strange. I don't know how I feel about that. See, Libra was more negative and Gemini is more positive. Either way, you can cleanse yourself, guys, so don't don't panic. This, but this is literally, it's more of like um, you can catch a spirit, see a spirit, hear a spirit, feel a spirit. I think it would be a loved one, someone who passed away. Others of you, it's definitely like a spirit guide. Or are you just going to see a glimpse of something? Jeez. It's like, trust what you saw. I don't know if it's going to be, like, unbelievable. Like, something you witness. <sighs> wow. I'd say no matter who you are, just cleanse yourself, whether it's a positive or a negative experience. Um, you know, because it's an experience, and any experience will affect your energy I'm not gonna lie in a positive way or a negative way so I mean this is a big message for me too 
I, I really feel like it's going to be one of those things where it's like out of the blue, you can't expect it. Like, this is not like, oh, I'm purposely going to take a hike this weekend. I'm bringing my camera. I'm going to watch the sunset. I'm going to the beach. Like, that's great. That's not what this is. You might catch something, yes. But this is like out of the blue. Like, you, typically, I mean, more of you now that I'm talking about it might actually look up at this guy. But it's I don't think it would happen in a situation like that. You know what I mean? It's just random. Or your friend's like, what the fuck is that? Or you know what I'm saying? It's like that. Yeah, see, it might even stress you out. Again, this guy. So, I, I, honestly, I hope I'm not stressing you out. It's just, it's a clear channeled message. It's that's just that simple. This is like, don't worry. And that energy of the... Of the star next to the nine of swords too. Like don't worry. And I do feel like I said. Like I said. Your energy is different. Like honestly. Don't worry. I got the goosebumps. It really is. Maybe a butterfly lands on you. Like you, you know. Just. <sighs> really wanted to come out. Yeah. See it's like. You don't sacrifice your own time either. You know what I mean? Like, be careful. Like, this is for you to go within. This is a big message for you guys right now. You have to change your perspective about something. This break is needed. A good thing or a bad thing. It's something you're not seeing. So if you get a little message with a star or something, please remember what you're thinking. Because it's, if it's negative, then it's, it's that's telling you back away. If it's positive, then it's, you might have to work on your own scenario where you do have to go within, but you're being stubborn. You got to change how you're looking at something or you have to sacrifice. Meaning like if, even if you were supposed to go away this weekend, No, not no. See, they're not, it's not like that. They're not playing takeaway like that. <sighs> see, this is an awakening. That's beautiful. You are going to see something. See, some of you might need to walk away from a situation and you're like, oh, do I go back? So I don't know if somebody's going to hit you up because this is contemplating walking away or you going back to a scenario. And I don't know if that's good or bad. It doesn't look really negative. This is somebody you could have been dealing with somebody, an earth sign. I just got anxiety, so I don't know if they have anxiety. Hoo-wee! All right. So but this is somebody who's no longer restricted. So that could be a very positive message. Somebody's picking up on it. So I don't know how it's so hot and cold between... Damn, I just wanted to flip. That could be sexual attraction too. Yeah, see, this is your past. Somebody's coming back. I don't like that combination. This is funny. This is why I said go watch Earth. There was something in Earth too where it was like it was actually a turn off, but some but somebody else was turned on. This could be fear of coming back around the mountain. What's this devil? I don't see fear anywhere else on the board. No, see this is something that needs to be wrapped up. See, this is like not going in a certain direction, guys, okay? So your body is going to tell you, trust your gut, trust your inner voice. Something is going to tell you, don't let someone convince you. These are strong, strong messages. Something like there's a cycle that needs to end. This isn't. This could be fear that something's ending. See, there's got to be a link to fear here. 
because I went right back to fear. But to me, this is, you know, this could be something toxic. And it, it's like, hit it and quit it. But I feel like it's more like, don't mess with this energy. These are very important messages. Yeah, see, unawakened. You're not seeing something or they're not. So actually, didn't Libra have that? No, someone had that. Please comment. It could have been Earth. Somebody was else was awakened and somebody else was not. So careful who you fuck with this weekend. Because you to me, this is like shutting it down. Somebody clearly is awakened and you have another one that's not. And it's like coming in for the wrong reasons or you just want to shut it down. You guys are going to be conflicted. Yeah, see, this was the same exact message of when I said someone was not learning a lesson. Please go watch Earth. Like there's not, someone did not learn a lesson. Oh my gosh, guys, that was the same message. Like wanting, you should really drop the weight. It, it might not be time to communicate. And then the very beginning of this read, I got, um... A message from her and I'm like oh no I don't want to answer it like you know so it's a message there for you too to me this is to me this is a no-go and others of you it's a go-ahead so it's again it's 50 50 your your biggest message here this, Because this could be you guys being stubborn and not realizing that somebody is waking up to something. I'm not going to lie to you. Please trust your gut. On what direction to head in this weekend. Oh, man, yeah. All right, y'all. I love you. I hope you have a kick-ass fucking weekend. Bye, Troop Loops.